So we are now home, guys. As you guys can see, we got the blue OBS right here, the giveaway truck. Looking nice and clean, guys. Also have the red truck over there. So go ahead and install the carpet and I'm gonna show you guys some of the parts I have for the truck. So let me go ahead and pull up the truck. So as you can see, we already have it in here. Como ven, raza, ya metimos la troca. Ya está acá adentro. Ya que sí, aquí tengo partes. I got parts right here for the OBS. That, some interior parts. So aquí tengo unas partecitas del interior. Ahí disculpen el marranero. Aquí tenemos las malonas. We got, the, we got the babies in here. You know, the toys. The rest of the toys. And we got a bunch of parts over here, guys. So all these parts are for the OBS. And I'm still missing a lot of parts. So stay tuned, guys. I got a bunch of parts for the OBS. So those are all going to be for this truck. Like I said, I'm going to be changing control arms. We're going to be changing the suspension. I'm changing the lights. I'm uh, going to be adding the moldings. Going to be changing the emblem because that is the GMC emblem. We're going to put the Chigan emblem. 454 SS mirrors. Probably cowhood here pretty soon. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you guys think we should do a cowhood? Let me know. So les digo recita todas estas partes que ven aquí son de la troca roja y aún faltan muchas partes. A esta troca le voy a poner todas las molduritas que van alrededor. Como la azulita. So just like the blue one, we're going to put all the moldings on. Just like the blue one. All the original moldings, the plastic, the valance, the bumper plastic. Valance ese, pero de la 454 SS. O esperen ese contenido. Lo vamos a instalar. Vamos a instalar the 454 SS valance slip on this truck. So wait on that content on how I'm going to install it. But also the mirrors. Como ven, raza, la diferencia de los espejos. You can see the difference in the mirrors. We got the 350 SS concept mirrors and we got the 454 SS mirrors. Personally, me, I like the 454 SS mirrors. Les digo, a mí me gusta más los, los espejos de la 454 SS más que las de esta de la roja, pues. Pero les digo, vamos a cambiar todo eso. Vamos a poner esas molduras. El emblema de la Cheyenne. Nuevas luces. El plástico del bumper. We're going to put some new light. Vamos a tumbar más, vamos a poner los IHC control arms, so esperen ese contenido también raza. La vamos a poner la misma suspensión que tiene frente, que trae la azulita. La ordené la misma suspensión a la roja que tiene la azulita. So I ordered the same suspension the blue truck has, I ordered it the same one on the red truck from IHC, so wait on that content guys. Pero sí, raza, les digo, hoy vamos a trabajar el interior, today we're going to be working on the interior. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the details we need to do. So, the panel, it looked like the truck was brown before and they painted it gray. So, I don't know if I should go ahead and make it look nice gray or go ahead and find a whole gray interior. But the plan here was, guys, to paint this black. Paint all the truck black. What do you guys think? And then I also got black carpet. I ordered brand new carpet, which we're going to be installing today. So, let's go. In este video, vamos a instalar la carpeta. Como ven, la troca no trae carpeta. La ordené negra. El plan aquí es pintar todo el interior negro, ponerle, no sé si ponerle los, los asientos originales o ponerle los asientos que trae la azulita, que vienen siendo de una 98 Yukon, los atraseros, no sé si ponerle esos o mandar a tapizar estos. Déjenme saber en los comentarios qué piensan, racita. So like I was saying, guys, I don't know if I should leave these seats or if I should go ahead and put the same seats that the blue truck has, which is the 98 uh, rear passenger Yukon seats, and then taking these off. Or sending these to get uh, redone. So let me know what you guys think down below, guys. But like I said, in today's video, we're going to be doing the carpet install. Vamos a instalar la carpeta. And we're going to start working on the interior and making it look nice, guys. So vamos a empezar a trabajar en el interior para que se mire bonito como el de la troca azulita. So, deje, empiezo a sacar todo. 
para que vean cómo se mire. So let me go ahead and start taking everything out, guys. That way you guys can see how it looks. So let me show you how easy it is to remove these seats. These right here, these seats right here are the ejecto seats. They're custom made. So all it takes is a hit of a button and ejecto. Man, this car can do all kind of things, man. Wanna see? <laughs> Check this out right here, homie. <laughs> So watch it. Así nomás, sale. Estos asientos son custom. So these are custom seats, guys. These come out like nothing. They're called ejecto seats. So if you haven't gotten some of these, make sure you go ahead and get some. No boats needed. So there it is. All that's left now is I'm gonna go get the vacuum. Go ahead and vacuum this up, have it nice and clean. And then we're gonna unbox the carpet and then see how it's gonna look in here. But pretty simple, pretty easy. As you can see, these ejecto seats are no match for your boy Duran. So, como ven, racita, ya quitamos los asientos. Como ven, así de fácil se quitan estos asientos. Son custom. Acuérdense, son customs. Esos son como los asientos de la Fast and the Furious. Que nomás le pones un botón y sale el güey volando. O sea, no se crean. Ya quitamos todo. Ahora lo que falta es sacar la carpeta de la caja. Antes que ponga la carpeta, le voy a dar una aspirada. So, ánimo, raza. Dejen, les doy una aspirada y ahorita regresamos. This is the carpet right here that we're gonna be installing on the red truck. So I did get it from Auto Custom, Car Auto Custom Carpet Inc. This is supposed to be an OEM carpet. So like the original ones, but it is black. And this is the carpet we're gonna be installing on the red truck. Ahead and install the carpet pretty simple it looks good all that's left now guys is to go ahead and trim around the carpet that way i can go ahead and put the trims on nice and clean be honest now that i think about it guys i don't think the gray looks bad at all i think it looks good so i might just go ahead and find me a really clean gray interior a really clean gray dashboard along with the powered window uh, door panels that way i can go ahead and make it powered windows so what do you guys think should we go ahead and paint the interior black or should we go ahead and leave it gray but personally i think it looks better gray it gives it more of that original look but let me go ahead and finish this up guys and we'll be right back pero les digo raza ya acabamos de instalar la carpeta y se mira de caché raza la neta se mira chingona la verdad ahora que la pienso no sé si pintar el interior negro ahora porque la verdad no se mira muy no se mira mal así como está pero ustedes que piensen déjenme saber en los comentarios les digo a lo mejor me encuentro un interior limpicito en el yonke que sea gris ya original y acabo este proceso para dar los resultados y ahorita regresamos there it is guys we're now done we have now installed the carpet I did go ahead and put some of the plastics back on just to see how it would look so I can trim it. I did some minimal trimming as you guys can see. So I had to put the plastics on just to see, get an idea of how it's gonna go. I will be removing them to repaint them, but I have decided that I will not be painting the interior black. I'll be leaving it gray. I'll just be going to the junkyard to get the gray leather seats. That way it can match all nice and clean inside the truck, guys. But like I said, 
this carpet is very clean i highly recommend it with the heat it's going to flatten out guys right now it's a little raggedy because it just got out the box but with the heat with time it'll flatten out guys so it looks very clean and it looks oem and as you guys can see it looks a lot better than it did before so como ven raza ya acabamos ya instalamos la carpeta um, le puse los plásticos para poder cortarle para saber cuánto le iba a cortar como ven corté no corté mucho le corté casi mínimo quedó como de agencia les digo con el calor se va a enderezar la carpeta ahorita está medio arrugadona porque acaba de salir de la caja pero ya con el tiempo y la y el calor se va a enderezar la carpeta quedó mejor que como estaba pero les digo he decidido que no va a pintar el interior negro lo voy a dejar así gris voy a ver si puedo encontrar un interior mejor más limpiecito que ya esté gris si no los voy a repintar todo gris así como está original todas las partecitas que les faltan pintar gris las voy a pintar voy a poner el mismo asiento que tiene la azulita a esta o voy a ir al yonke y voy a encontrar ese asiento y se lo voy a poner también pero les digo quedó bien limpiecito el interior quedó mejor que como estaba porque como estaba estaba bien estaba bien feo pero ustedes qué opinan déjenme saber en los comentarios les digo si quieren cambiar su carpeta del 88 al 98 Custom Carpet Inc. Ahí ordené esta carpeta y queda como agencia y queda bien limpio, raza. ¿Ustedes qué opinan? Déjenme saber en los comentarios. Falta poner los asientos, pero ya que vaya el yonke, le voy a poner los asientos que van. Pero por mientras, ahí quedó, racita. ¿Qué opinan? So, this is the other side, and as you can see, it is really clean. It looks good. It looks way better than it did before. As you can see, the interior is pretty clean, guys. We'll be going to the junkyard to look for a cleaner interior. Same gray original gray um, i'm only going to be missing a couple plastics which is that one and the one on top and that plastic it looks like i don't have it but i do have that plastic so it looks like i have the rest of the plastics pretty much complete uh probably an air vent a new glove department a new glove box because it looks like it's screwed on so new one of those that's if i don't find a clean uh cleaner dash uh i'll go ahead and just replace those parts but if i do find a whole clean interior then i'll go ahead and replace the whole interior so stay tuned for that content guys we will be hitting the junkyard here soon again so like i said i will be getting those seats and some other messing uh interior parts but if you haven't yet hit that subscribe hit that subscribe and if you haven't yet like the video like the video brothers i appreciate all the support and stay tuned guys because like you've seen we have a bunch of content coming up it's either this truck this truck purple truck we got this one we got the c10 over there you know what i mean guys so stay tuned for all the content guys you won't be disappointed but anyways i hope you guys are liking today's little vlog I'm working on the ls swapped obs so stay tuned for more progress like you've seen we have a bunch of parts and i will be uploading a bunch of content as we start putting parts on the truck so stay tuned guys if you haven't yet to hit that subscribe hit that subscribe because as you can see we have a bunch of trucks a bunch of content that i have coming right up guys and a bunch of fire content so if you want to see this race truck in action hit that subscribe and if you want to see some more info on it hit that comment let me know what you guys want to see next like i said i got plenty of trucks show season is popping right up it's time to give this truck a new look so stay tuned on a new look on this truck like i said if you haven't yet hit that follow hit that follow you won't be disappointed i got nothing but badass trucks as you can see we have the blue truck right here we got the red truck right here stay tuned on all the content guys like you see we have the 85 c10 right there we got the blue obs right here and we also still missing two trucks that are not here in the picture also have the track hawk guys so stay tuned for all the content like you see we have nothing but badass whips and badass projects and badass videos coming right up so if you haven't hit that like hit that subscribe but your boy duran is out